to my channel today thank you so much for coming on here thank you so much for clicking this video here we love to talk about fragrances how we feel about them everything that has to do with fragrances and what they represent to us and i hope today that you've come on here you would enjoy this content and if you've not subscribed you'll be willing to subscribe and share and like this video Today, we'll be talking about my top five everyday fragrances, guys. Now, my top five fragrances or my everyday fragrances are those ones that I easily reach for without thinking twice. So if I wake up and I don't want to think too much about what to use, I know that if I pick it up, it will smell well, it will project well, whatever. These are the fragrances I reach out for. It's interesting to see that they all have you know, similar colors. I, I didn't think about that when I was picking them, but as I laid them out now on the tray, I found that they really look alike in terms of the color. So I found that very interesting. I mean, for me, these are generally wearable all year round. They're quite climate agnostic in my opinion. And what that means to me is I can wear them when it's cold. I can wear them, you know, in the warmer weather. They would perform well regardless, you know. So in no particular order, I'll start with Givenchy Irresistible. This is it. I love this bottle. It's so pretty. Very pretty. I think it's a 2020 release. It's such a beautiful bottle. I love the way the juice looks in the bottle. Really simple, really well designed. This one is a fruity floral, very feminine perfume. The main accords here, I think, are musky, fruity, rose, powdery, floral, aquatic, woody, and fresh. And in terms of notes, it's got pear and ambrette at the top. It's got rose and iris in the middle. And it's got musk and cedar at the base. So simple note profile. And, you know, if you're a fan of fruity florals with a bit of musk, you'll definitely like this one. It's fresh. It's cozy. It's really mass-pleasing and inoffensive, in my opinion. I believe there's some rose in the middle. My nose tends to pick up the nose and the musk quite a bit, but it's in a very mellow rose. It's not too deep. It's not too much in your in your face i get wafts of it mixed with the musk as the fragrance dries down i didn't really smell the pear notes for too long maybe somewhere in the beginning but it didn't stay through the duration of the scent on my skin so what you get here is largely the rose and the musk at play the projection on me is intermediate it's not too strong so those around you will catch intermittent whiffs of it on close encounter but it's not in an obnoxious or loud way i mean i find the longevity to also be mid-range as well i believe this lasts about four hours on me i love the simplicity of the bottle it's like i said earlier it's just so nicely done very simple and very classy looking I mean, overall, this can be one year round, in my opinion. I wear it to work, to brunch, to parties, weddings, anywhere. It's really versatile. It's very, it's a very easy reach for me. I really like this perfume. It's, it's very simple. It's a no-brainer, really. Next, we have Giorgio Armani C. That's this one. I've spoken about it in my single fragrance reviews. This is how it looks with the beautiful blue and rose gold cap and then the pinkish or is it purplish um, juice in the bottle. This is My Way Intense. Now, this is a white floral with a woody trail. You have orange blossom at the top. It's infused with some bitter orange. So when you first spray, there's a bit of tartness to the fragrance. And then you have in the middle some tuberose and some creamy woody accords. And then there's vanilla at the base to warm things up. So for me, this scent is really uplifting. Giorgio Mani C Intense lifts my spirits. Anytime I don't want to think too much about a fragrance to wear, I just reach for it because I know I can't go wrong with it. It lasts about four hours on me, after which I obviously have to respray. But it's got very good sillage and projection, in my opinion, without being too strong or imposing. I just feel really pretty, happy, you know, and put together whenever I have this on. 
So I went to work. I went out running errands. You know, I went to events. Anywhere, really. It's that versatile to me. And I'd say it's somewhat crowd-pleasing. I mean, to me, it's another no-brainer. It's a very easy reach in my collection. I reach for it when I don't want to think too much about whether a perfume will work for me or not. So, Giorgio Armani C, my second easy reach perfume. Next up, we've got Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is another one I've talked about quite, um, quite often, you know, in my reviews. I really love this bottle. I find it to be so nicely done. It's just sturdy is solid it's classy and it somehow you know represents what we have in the perfume as well it's really nice i like it i like it for two main reasons it's warm it's cozy right and then it feels like a warm hug to me it just feels like a hug that's the feeling it evokes so picture a well-dressed woman in her house entertaining guests with an array of desserts and other you know delicacies on the table and her guests come in and she hugs you and you can just smell this on her it's beautiful guys this is a very beautiful perfume in my opinion it just evokes that feeling of warmth and anytime at a loss for, you know, anytime I'm at a loss for what fragrance to wear, I just grab it because I know I'll be fine for the day. I don't need to think too much. I don't need to, you know, do any mental calculations as to whether it will work or not. Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. It's a very, very easy reach in my collection and I love it. Very good for everyday wear all year round. Another one I like for everyday use is my Mongrelan. Yep, this is another classy masterpiece in my collection i really love it in fact i think i want to smell this so i will spray it i love it i love the smell of this one it the bottle is pretty and like i said all these bottles somehow look similar to me i don't know it wasn't deliberate but this is a very pretty easy reach in my collection jeremy fragrance on youtube <laughs> it describes this as smelling like a wife and to be honest, I found that very interesting, but I get what he means though. Mongolan, this is the intense version, is so special. It has some flowers, it has some lavender, bergamot, it's got some mandarin orange, it's got vanilla, iris, jasmine, rose, and then I think at the end you've got some patchouli, some musk, benzoin, sandalwood, you know, all of that. These notes are very well blended. And it feels so feminine. So from the first sniff, you can feel that cloud of coziness and femininity just wrapping itself around you. It's comforting, it's sexy, but in a very understated way. And it's very appropriate for any event, in my opinion. You wear this to work, you smell nice. You wear it to, to a board meeting, whatever, you smell nice, you smell like a boss. You wear it to entertain at home, it's absolutely nice. You wear it to a wedding, it's fantastic. You're getting married and you want to wear it, absolutely fantastic in my opinion. With this one, I spray it generously on my hair, in my pulse points, on my clothes. I know I'm good for the day when I have my mongrel on, on, I don't have to think twice about it. I just know I will smell good. I will make a statement in an understated and classy way. I love it. And then what happens is you catch whiffs of it on yourself over the course of the day. And whenever I catch a whiff of it, I actually, it elevates my mood, honestly. Those around you would also get whiffs of your fragrance and they'll comment on it. I've gotten quite a number of compliments for this one. The musk and the patchouli most especially give it that earthy, grounding quality to the florals. And then it's warmed by the vanilla. So that interplay of notes is absolutely fantastic on this one. Overall, I really like Mongolan Intense. I always look forward to wearing it when I can. Finally, for today, we've got Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I love this one. This is an absolute must-have in my collection. I love, love, love Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. 
I call it an everyday fragrance, but if I had my way, I would wear it every day because it's quite pricey. So just because I want to save it, I don't want to use it all up at the same time. I want to get the best value of it. I, wouldn't, I don't use it so often, but it's a very easy reach for me. It is just a very easy reach. I love it anytime, any weather, any day. Chanel Coco Mademoiselle for me is class and elegant in a little bottle. This one, yep. It's citrus, it's floral, it's got bergamot, it's orange, grapefruit, rose, jasmine, some lychee, van vanilla, some patchouli, and some musk in it. This one I reach for anytime I want to feel elegant and just classy and put together. My Chanel Coco Mademoiselle doesn't disappoint me in that one. I don't worry about whether it will be appropriate for the occasion because it will come through for me. I know it will fit and I love it so, so much. It evokes this feeling of confidence in me. And to be honest, I don't hesitate to reach for Chanel Coco Mademoiselle whenever I get the chance to. Absolutely fantastic for me. I love it. So yeah, guys, we've come to the end of my top five easy reach everyday fragrances. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would really like to know what fragrances you love to reach for on an everyday basis. Let me know in the comments. And please, if you love this video, you love this content, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share. And also click on the notification button to tell you whenever I post a new video. Till we meet again on my next one. Take care, guys, and have a beautiful week ahead. Bye.